What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys a knit runner, Fade of Dessert. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, let's you know I'm gonna write the rest of the show you guys you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me. And you guys, when new videos coming ahead of time, you follow me on Instagram at Y Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So these actually did drop on Yeezy Day. Now, if your shipment hasn't came yet and you guys are looking on the confirm app and it still says processed, what you can do is go on the Adidas app and it might be updated. Now I might tell you that um, it might come on like towards the 14th, 15th, 16th, or 17th, but sometime it will update faster than that and you probably will get your shipment in literally like three or four days because a lot of people are starting to get their shipments in now and I have already got mines in and I just got this one in a couple hours ago. But um, let's start off with the shoe guys. On the top of the box here it says Knit Runner. Both sides are blank. As you guys see on the back it says Yeezy Knit Runner made by Adidas. Adidas logo down there. I did go with a size 10 on these. And I have a size 10.5 right here. So make sure you guys stay throughout the whole video to watch the sizing tips. Um, we also did get a $10 increase on these. So these retail for 210. This one retail for 200. And uh, current resale is going for about 280 to 260, which is not that bad. Um, and I think it's the second best behind the yellow one. But um, let's get right into it, guys. Open up the box here. And these shoes do come individually wrapped, as you guys can see. All right. Um, on the inside of the box, you get that white sticker. Okay, and then under that is just regular. Let me show you guys on the sticker it says APE 33T QC. Under that, nothing, but you know, we get that. And then uh, we get the sizing. I mean, the sizing. We get the labels right here that it comes with. All right. So with these tags on the paper, it does tell you that the shoe will wear. Okay. So um, put that box, put that back in the box. All right, and I'll uh, unwrap these shoes now. From what I can see here, uh, they're pretty much the same thing in my opinion. But uh, as you guys can see, it kind of does have like a grayish look to it, in my opinion. Like it does have like an ashy look to it. And these kind of feel rougher than these right here. Like this one feels a little bit rough too, but it's a little bit more smoother. Um, this one feels a little bit more rougher. So I guess it's the materials that they use to make it fade or whatever, because it is called the Fade of Dessert. But uh, let's get right into it, guys. Um, it's basically, green and blue mixture all the way around the shoe. Some patterns are darker than others. Um, in the front of the toe box right here, you see how it starts off like dark down the bottom, then it gets very light. And then uh, towards the middle of the shoe, it switches to like blue. And then it gets to like the faded blue all the way in the back going all the way around the shoe. But I'm um, starting off on the bottom of the shoe here. We get green on the bottom of the shoe right here. And it looks like waves is going up and down the shoe. It says Adidas down there with the three stripes over top of that at the bottom. Okay, coming towards the outside of the shoe right here, we get this indent right there on the outside of the shoe. All right, and then we get some green stitching in there. Okay, and then uh, towards the front of the shoe right there, we get the light green at the top, and then towards the bottom, it starts to switch to like a darker green. All right, towards the back of the shoe on the outside, it starts off as like a dark blue and then towards the back kind of gets like a lighter you can actually see like it starts to like get a little bit ashy and whatnot towards the back right there and then we have a little bit of green over at the top okay same thing on the inside we get that little indent right there and when you're touching on the actual shoe it is like it's not soft like a foam runner like it's a much harder structure but it's also not hard where you can't like bend or move the shoe okay so um that's what i'm feeling on this and also if you guys look really closely like towards the front right here when we go to the mud guard you guys look really closely you can actually see like a little bit of blue down there mixed in with the knitting all the way in the bottom right there you can actually see like blue all the way at the bottom all right they did it on both shoes you see the sole of the bottom of the shoe creeping up from the bottom all right come towards the toe box here as you guys can see you won't need any wearable shoe trees in these <laughs> now i won't say that um it's soft as a foam it's pretty hard right here when you're touching it and things like that and when you have your feet inside it is kind of trapped off so they do feel 100 percent different than a foam runner if you guys are looking into getting these for the first time um normally we will have the tongue of the shoe is blue right there okay show you guys that right there all right and then uh we take out this insole right here and it's just some cardboard around it it says which says uh, 9.5 through 10.5, and it says the same thing on the brown pair. Okay guys, so when you are purchasing these, make sure your insoles look like this. So one says 9.5 through 10.5, and the other one is basically backwards. 
and that is how both of my pairs are the brown pair and on the green and blue pair which is the fate of dessert so 9.5 and as you guys can see on this one as well it's backwards and both pairs do come like that so when you are getting these make sure your insoles are like this as well okay just so you guys can see all right both of them in the picture they are both like that all right just wanted to show you guys this really quickly okay so there's no confusion here all right right there um Okay, so we do get that. And then on the outside of the shoe right here, which is a pretty cool feature, it says the sizing right there. So size 10 and black. And then it has a US right there. Okay. Um, on the inside of the shoe, this is probably the biggest difference that I noticed about the shoes here is that um, on the inside of the shoe, on the older model, you can actually take out the insole like this. But on the newer model, you cannot take out the insole. So I'll show you guys that real fast. You guys cannot take out that insole. It's very, you know what I mean? It's threaded down. So you guys cannot take that out um on the back here we get like some neoprene okay now when you guys look on the inside of the shoe here the material of this shoe i don't think it's 3m but there's just a material on this right here on the inside like that satin it just looks like stars or like you're in space right here also on the brown pair it does that as well I'll show you guys a brown pair but the blue pair you can really see it very well on the inside it's really nice i like that a lot now, in my opinion, the shoes look best when you're looking at them from the sides. When you're looking at them straight up, it doesn't look that well, but from the sides, they actually look really good, in my opinion. Okay, on both insoles, it says Yeezy, and we get the same logos on the insole as well. All right, and that's in black, or like a blackish grayish, depending on, where you're depending on where you're looking at it in the light. All right, and then we get the sizing on the actual insole as well. Same thing like the older model. Okay, if you guys can see that. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much the shoe, guys. All right, so I have a size 10.5 here and a size 10. I feel like, you know, you can go up a full size, but the 10.5 feels a little bit more comfortable. So I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay, guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean, in my opinion. Now, I'm a true size 9. I normally get 9.5 in all my shoes. Except for 450s and 350s, I believe you need to go full size up on those. But um, on the right here, I have a full size up, which is a size 10. And on the left, I have a size 10.5, which is a full size and a half up. Now, when I first reviewed this one on the left, I felt like... You know what I mean? Um, a full size and a half up was the way to go. And now that I have this size 10, you can actually go a full size up and it feels pretty comfortable. But honestly, still the 10.5 feels a little bit more comfortable. Your foot has a little bit more breathability because you don't really have room to breathe in the shoe. It's not like a foam runner where you put it on your foot and you know what I mean? The material around it is soft, you know what I mean? And it kind of like, you know, can bend and, you know, just go wherever your foot goes this one is more so like a actual sneaker and on the inside your foot is not moving and you know going with the material as if it was a foam like material so um you can actually go up a full size on the knees i wouldn't go up half a size you would have to go up at least a full size in my opinion give yourself a little bit of space in these you can go up to the full size and a half if you have a wider foot in my opinion because as you guys see it's like narrow here and then it goes back open but um, honestly, it feels very different from what you feel when you're walking in foam runners or slides. It's kind of like a hard bottom, but they're still pretty comfortable, surprisingly. Um, another thing about on the inside right here, like if you guys look, you can't really take out this insole, but on the older model, you can take it out. So, um, you know, I just want to show you guys that again. But uh, honestly, they're very comfortable. And if you guys are into these, they're not everybody's favorite, but they're pretty dope in my opinion. And uh, I'm going to show you guys these like some different pants options right now. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boys some love and stay tuned.